I don't know. And I really don't care. <laughs> I've got to stop. I have to stop. Ooh, do you guys want a Christmas present haul? So, like, my life is a mess right now. I grabbed the broom and I, like, hit it. And I swear to God, I thought it was a snake. Can't hurt you. And I was like, I don't care. my vlog hello so if we haven't stated the obvious i did quit vlogmas after like day 21 i think it was too much for me and i was losing my creativity and i was also exhausted but i did realize something in the days that i stopped and that is the fact that i am so bored without youtube like i just wanted to come home from work and go straight to bed because i was so freaking bored so yeah, um, here we are again. Welcome to Vlogmas. <laughs> no! Oh my gosh, it's not Vlogmas anymore. Today is December 30th, 2021. And I only say 2021 because in two more days it's gonna be freaking 2022. Like, what the heck? So I'm just taking you guys along with like my last day that I'm gonna do things on the new year or on the old year, whatever, you know what I mean. I'm taking you on my last productive day of 2021 because tomorrow I have to work and then when I get off, I'm going out to celebrate the new year with my family. So I probably won't be vlogging. Well, I might do a get ready vlog, I don't know yet. But we have to get everything done that we want to get done before the new year because I don't know about you guys But I do not do any cleaning on New Year's Day. It's just really bad luck and I'm really superstitious So I just don't do any of the cleaning stuff. So I get that done before I just paid my car payment So we love that for a fresh start of the vlog and now I want to go to Dollar Tree I have to pee so freaking bad. I've been holding it until I got this done. Yeah, we're just gonna go through the day together. I need lunch because I'm starving. So I'm gonna eat some of my meal prep that I made. But here we are and I have to put on my seatbelt. So I will see you guys later. I just got home from this store. Better with this or without this? I can't tell. I hate like midday because like the lighting sucks. This is what we're working with guys. This is gonna have to work right now because the kitchen is all kinds of bad lighting right now. I even forgot to put my keys up. All right, so like, my life is a mess right now. Stop. Anyway, like I said, I went to Dollar Tree, but before that I had to go get cash back from Walmart because I had to have cash to pay my car payment. I couldn't use a debit card. I got me some makeup remover wipes to get cash back. Did I need them? Not really, but I can use them, I guess. But from Dollar Tree, I got some cleaning stuff and I forgot what else I got. Sponges. These are the best kind of sponges. I know, I don't even know what these sponges are for. They're called nail guard sponges, but I use them for my dishes and they come in like this huge pack. I mean, why would I not buy them? I got some paper towels to clean with and then I got toothbrushes because I am so picky about my toothbrushes if they are not doing the right job <laughs> I don't even know how to explain that but I have to change mine out all the time like I had some under my sink that I was using because I had to change out my other one I did not like them and I like this kind of aim brand from the Dollar Tree I got one for me and one for my brother I got these unstoppable pods until I actually buy laundry soap because I want to wash my sheets and stuff today and then I got some hairspray this is just like the white rain hairspray for when I curl my hair because I was out. So that is what I got at the Dollar Tree. It was $5. The air is literally on. It is December 30th. We're turning down to 70 because I just cannot. I really hope those thumbnails were cute because I don't know. And I really don't care. <laughs> I've got to stop. I have to stop. I am so lazy. Monday, I cleaned the entire house, like I did everything. And so today I don't really have to do everything, but I do need to like straighten it up and stuff like that. The messy house gives me anxiety and I have dishes piled up in the sink that need to go in the dishwasher. So bad. 
<laughs> I really wanted to get a coffee from McDonald's, but they were packed up almost to the road. So I was not about to go sit in that drive through line for a coffee, which by now I probably could have already had the coffee, but it's still fact. I'm not doing it. So I'm going to show you guys what I've been making for lunch because it's so freaking good. So Monday I meal prepped some chicken, ground turkey, and some like black beans. And I've been eating that all week. It is Thursday now. I've been making chicken wraps with a tortilla, tomatoes, spinach, and chicken, and ranch, and buffalo. <gasps> Holy shoot, I forgot my buffalo sauce. That sucks. I guess we'll use hot sauce and then I'll have to go to the store and get buffalo. This is literally all the hot sauce I have left. I am so mad at myself. You know I can't live without buffalo. What is wrong with me? Anyway, buffalo sauce and ranch is what I usually put on it, but I guess I'm going to put hot sauce on it today. But listen, I was sitting here yesterday and I came down to get something. It was like nine at night and I was just sitting here and right here through this crack, I have paper towels here now because I'm not playing with that game, but right there through that crack, a freaking worm came up out of the gr out of the door. Like it, it looked like a like piece of string or something. So I was like, what is that? It started moving in the house. I grabbed the broom and I like hit it and I swear to God, I thought it was a snake. I thought it was a baby snake coming in to my apartment and I took a video and then I had the broom on the worm because I was like, there's no way I'm about to mess with this baby snake. So I had the video and then my brother Snapchatted me and he was like, I'm home, just letting you know. And I was like, you better come in the house right now. And I sent him the video. He came in and he's like, that's an earthworm. And I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I saw it this morning. And I didn't think it would come in the house. I swear, I swear. I was crying like a baby. I was literally crying. If you have never seen an earthworm, I have never seen an earthworm before until yesterday. Those things are freaking huge and I'm going to pop up the picture and the one that I'm going to pop up the picture, this worm was bigger than that. It was terrifying. It was so scary. So he just picked it up with like a toilet paper roll and took it outside. If you didn't know those things were invincible, like you can't kill those things that you like you could chop up their head apparently and it'll grow back that is so terrifying so i was over here bawling like a baby i put that paper towel right there to, to barricade the door and if another one comes in i am moving i cannot i i was bawling and christian was like it's not that serious it's okay it's just a worm that can't hurt you and i was like i don't care i don't care that was so terrifying never 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 again if I see one of those again, I'm I'm moving. And this morning, they're still outside. Like, I still see them crawling outside. But if they come back in this apartment, new moving vlog. Anyway, back to lunch. I just have this chicken meal prepped in this butter dish. Does anybody else do this? Just use, like, random Tupperwares? This is literally a butter Tupperware. I use cherry tomatoes and just cut them up buffalo but hot sauce today spinach and ranch of course and tortillas i guess it's okay that i'm out of buffalo because this is my last tortilla but also it's not because i literally eat hot sauce on everything and before i even eat dinner i'm gonna have to go get hot sauce because i have to have it on everything but i just cut some chicken up and i put it in the wrap cut the tomato up put it in the wrap um spinach on the bottom of the wrap it's really self-explanatory. So I'm gonna do like a little time lapse if this video is not 80 minutes long. lunch um ignore how it looks but it's gonna be bomb here's my wrap it's gonna fall apart as soon as i pick it up three pickles and ranch and then i'm just drinking water i put it in this sparkling ice thing i drank yesterday this part is dyed orange from the actual drink but it's okay <laughs> this is this is what i do on the daily so welcome to my life <laughs> I'm not 
the whole kitchen. I even cleaned my garbage disposal with white vinegar and baking soda. It's sitting now. I'm cleaning my washer with white vinegar and baking soda and washing dishes. We are on a roll today. I filled up my Brita. She's ready to go. Oh, and we made a coffee. I don't even know if I showed that, but it's amazing. All right, we are in my room now because I really want to play on my computer. It's 2.41, so I'm waiting on my stuff to get done downstairs so that way I can wash clothes. I need to put up clothes in here. I also need to put up all my Christmas presents. Oh, do you guys want a Christmas present haul? What I got for Christmas 2021? I could have made a whole video of that. I might actually title that this video. But um, Christmas is mostly about spending time with your family and stuff like that. That's why I didn't make a what I got for Christmas video. Just because I don't want it to come off as like bragging or anything like that. But I will show you guys what I got. I guess I can do that now. Ignore how messy my room is. I don't even want to talk about it. We really need to clean my room. So my bed is not made. I need to wash my sheets, so I'm not making it. I'm just gonna show you guys, cause most of it's in this basket. Some of it's downstairs, like my Brita that I showed you that I was filling up. My mama got me that for Christmas. And um, I got money from my mama and papa, and I got money from my mom. So obviously I can't show that because it's money and I already spent it. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what else my mama and my Aunt Tiffy got me for Christmas. So first of all, my Aunt Tiffy got me these, and I really need to put them in my car because I need to clean my car in general because my car is literally disgusting. But she got me this little car freshener from Bath & Body Works. She got me the Winter Candy Apple and the Crisp Morning Air. So I am so excited to use this. This Winter Candy Apple smells so good. She got me this cute little gel nail dryer. Look how cute that is. That's a panda. That is so freaking cute. You got me this dip gel thing because you guys know I love to do my own nails. These are like purple colors. So they're super pretty. I'm excited to use those. These Bath & Body Works scents. This is in the star. She got me the lotion and the perfume. I'm going to use this right now actually. Makeup brushes. Cutest little box thing for my whatever I put in it. And it even has a mirror. So you guys can see yourself like this is freaking adorable and she gave me one more thing but i'm gonna save that for last because it's the most like sentimental thing that she gave me for christmas so i'm gonna show you what mama got me for christmas i really need to put this stuff up so she got me this i already opened these because i needed it these venus gillette razors she got me a huge pack of razors so i'm super happy about that this cute little sweater thing i'm trying to wait until it gets a little colder here because in alabama it is literally 80 degrees these fuzzy saw i believe mama got me these bunch of fuzzy saw these cute little um oven mitts it says love laughter and wine you guys know i love wine and also like a wine little kitchen towel so super cute thank you mama and then the towel that matches the oven mitt. She got me my coffee syrup, which my favorite is the vanilla caramel cream in the skinny syrups, but they didn't have it. So she got me the vanilla, which is my second favorite. And she put it in this wine bag. So I really thought she got me wine for Christmas. This cute wine stopper, because the one she got me last year has been through the ringers. So this one. And then she always gets us like this little basket with a bunch of like care things in it. So this is what I got in mine. I don't remember. I think there might have been more that she got me. She, like I said, she gave me money too. This little meat thing. She got all the girls one of these to like cook. This is how you like ground your meat up with these things. And I'm super excited because you guys know I love those rolls of ground turkey. And it's so hard to mash them. So now I have a meat masher. This wine is cheaper than Therapy Magnet. Crest 3D White Toothpaste. My favorite kind of toothpaste. And then I don't take pills. I cannot swallow a pill. So she has to always give me these. And it's so funny. So she gets me. These are Tylenol Dissolve Packs. They're like that. I hope they don't taste awful. And then I take BC powders instead of like 
Tylenol or Advil. I know it's not the best, but I can't swallow a pill. So she got me these, two boxes of these. So I will be stocked up for a long time. I really don't like to take medicine unless I have to. But. And then here's the cards that they gave me. This says for my sweet granddaughter at Christmas. It looks like that. And Love Mama Football 2021. This card says, you hold a special place in our family, in my heart, not just on Christmas, but always. And she gave us money in that. Or me money. She gave everybody money. I don't know how she did that, but her and Papa snapped. They gave us all money. And then my mama got me this one. It says, peace, hope, love, and joy. It's this really pretty, like, glittery card. And it says, hope your holidays are filled with all things that matter most. And she hates giving money, but I really told her that I wanted clothes for Christmas and, like, stuff I needed. So, she gave me money. She's like, to buy clothes, only love. No, she said, to buy clothes only. Heart, I don't like to give money. It said, Dear Emma, I know Christmas is not about gifts, but all about making memories with the ones that you love. I am so very grateful to have another year and many more to go. I love you so much, Mommy. So that was super cute. Thank you, Mommy. And yes, I am almost 25 and I still call my mom Mommy. And I have no shame because I love her. So that is what I got for Christmas. And I have one more thing to show you guys. And this one might make me cry. So I'm trying to save it for last. So this guitar was my uncle's guitar. And my uncle passed away this year on October 28th so he didn't make it to Christmas which makes me very sad and Christmas was definitely different this year and so was Thanksgiving so when she gave me this guitar I literally cried because my uncle loved music and he loved his guitar and the fact that I have it now just makes me so happy <sighs> I'm gonna cry because I was like my uncle's kid, like he helped raise me from when I was a baby. And he was like my dad because I didn't really have a, like my dad was never really around. So the only dad figures I have are my papa and my uncle. So it hit me really hard when he passed. And then my Aunt Tiffy, she said that she was going to give me his guitar because he wouldn't want anybody else to have it besides me and he knows he would know that I would take good care of it so I have my uncle's guitar I'm gonna show you guys so this was like his baby like I said he's in my messy room but here's this pretty case here it is this is literally his baby and it makes me feel so blessed that I got to keep it so in here he has, in here are all his like capos, his capos and his pick. He loved Auburn. I'm not really that big of an Auburn person, but he loved it. So I will keep this forever. Yeah, this is his baby. And I want to really learn how to play since I have his guitar because I know that he always wanted me to learn how to play. So now that I'm crying, <laughs> I really just want to play on my computer for a while. And um, that is everything that I got for Christmas this year. Like I said, Christmas is about family and not gifts. So I didn't make a whole video, but I know some people like to watch like what I got for Christmas videos. So I just wanted to show you guys this year has definitely been hard but I know that everything happens for a reason and I know that my uncle is in a much better place and he's not suffering anymore so because of that I am very grateful to still have the rest of my family here so that is all for my little sad session and I will see you guys when I like clean my room or something as I just made the freaking cutest intro you guys will see it at the beginning of this video, but just know I've been sitting here making it for like an hour and a half, and I'm freaking obsessed. I can't believe I did this. Like, ah! I still have yet to clean anything, so I gotta do that, but I just finished this intro. If you guys liked it, please comment a heart in the comments.
because I love it. It's so cute. Right, guys, it is much later. I finished my intro and stuff, and I was going to clean my room, but I think I'm going to wait until tomorrow, which is New Year's Eve, when I get off work and clean and do some laundry before I go out, if I go out, because I really don't feel good. Like, I feel so bad. My sinuses have gotten so much worse, so... I'm gonna end this video here. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great new year. I'm gonna try to get this video up tomorrow, which is New Year's Eve. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you.